Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Hmm. Love is a beautiful thing, isn't it? But before we move into today's thrilling and exciting story, kindly show us your love and support by subscribing to our channel and also give this video a thumbs up. I'm waiting for you to subscribe. <laughs> I guess you're done. Thank you so much. Let's move straight into today's special Valentine's Day episode. Enjoy. Abba, after returning home from Cape Coast, suddenly fell in love with her brother's friend, Joe, who was a fitting mechanic. Abba's dad was a well-educated man who wanted the best for his children. Abba was at a marriageable age, so soon after her return, the town councillor came to ask for her hand in marriage for his third son, who was a lawyer. But unfortunately, Abba was already truly in love with Joe. My dearest Joe, I haven't slept all night thinking how wonderful you are, Joe. I want you to be mine always, and I will be yours forever. My love for you is 99 three quarter percent pure. Add one quarter percent to make it complete. I love you. Don't forget about the beach. Abba. Her parents weren't in support of the fact that she was well educated and yet still wanted to marry a methane mechanic. Abba, however, followed her heart and got married to Joe her true love. The beginning of the marriage was like the beginning of their happy ever after. She wouldn't wait to see him return from work. The joy and fulfillment was unexplainable. It was true love indeed. Nevertheless, the counselor's son never stopped pressuring her in hope of winning her heart. Abba kept all these from Joe until one day he caught them in the middle of town to chatting. Out of anger and frustration, Joe rushed home to wait for his wife, Abba. When Abba returned, Joe was already home, which was so unusual of him. He was home quite early. Joe made the conclusion that his wife was cheating on him with a lawyer and therefore said things he shouldn't have spoken and reacted in a way he shouldn't have and rushed out of home, not even at least listening to what his wife had to say. Abba was so hurt and even as at that time, she was pregnant. It was late and Joe had still not returned home, so Abba decided to go out and look for her husband and to her surprise, she found him at a drinking bar. A heated argument ensued and in the event of things, Joe got angry and pushed Abba to the floor, which unfortunately made her lose consciousness. Upon arrival at the hospital, she miscarried. Out of pain and regret, Joe left a letter for his wife and went off to who knows where. Days later, Abba was discharged and the only one she still had in mind was her true love, Joe. She couldn't stop thinking about him. At the same time, Joe couldn't stop thinking about Abba. Their love was pure. Shortly afterwards, Abba started losing it, so she was sent to the expect and they all kept suggesting that Joe was the answer. Based on this, Joe's dad took it upon himself to go look for his son so he could bring him back home. It was such a daunting task. In fact, like a mission impossible. They soon turned into weeks, weeks into months, and months turned into years. Three years of relentless searching before he finally found his son. Joe was still clothed in regrets and pains of his actions, and life seemed not to have had it easy on it. Tears was the only thing he could draw on upon seeing Papa. He made a decision and returned home. It was the spark that lighted up his life. She became normal again, and life for them took a good turn. From this story, Let's learn to control our anger. 
Relationships is all about understanding and trust. And forgiveness is key. Let's learn to forgive. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share as well. Many thanks for watching. God bless you.